Hi, good morning. My name is Muhammad Jamjum Sarit, a second year medicine student of uh, Southwestern University, FEMA. Could you please state your name and your birth date, please? My name is Muhammad Hawi Inar Sarit. My birth date is September 28, 2006. All right, so I believe you're still 14 years old, but actually your mother have consented in doing this procedure. But how about you personally? Do you approve? I mean, do you agree on doing this procedure? Yes. All right, thank you. So for today, we will be doing the uh, measuring of your blood pressure. If you are hypotensive or you are you are uh, hypertensive, so of course, uh, perhaps you would be needing a short explanation on how this procedure is done. So with my hands washed, we can start. Do you have any questions? No. All right. So uh, actually, we have three types of hypertension. We have uh, the nocturnal hypertension, hy hypertension, and then we also have the white coat hypertension, and then we also have, lastly, the mask hypertension. So, um, in doing this method, uh, we have th uh, four, four types of uh, BP apps wherein we can use in accessing or in measuring your blood pressure. So, we actually have, uh, again, four. This would include the aneroid, the uh, mercury so that's the old one and then we also have the electric electric or the digital uh, bp app and then finally we have the hybrid hybrid uh, bp app so this would involve include this type uh, wherein i will be using for you so can we start now yes all right so first of course is to uh, position you in a most comfortable position in a sitting, lying on your back with your with your feet, uh, hand uh, with your feet touching the floor. So could you please uh, give me uh, your forearm? Now, in choosing forearm, it should be clear, clear of any fistulas, uh, clear of any inflammations, clear of any masses or any uh, past surgical procedures you've gone through. So this site is very much, uh, very much perfect for this. Procedure now in choosing this procedure in choosing for the site of course uh, First we should uh, identify first the anticubital crease. So at the anticubital crease it needs the palpation of your uh, Brachial pulse now your brachial pulse is in line with your radial pulse or your thumb. So it must be here now I can now uh, rotate or cover the cuff over your forearm now, in choosing for the BP app, in its different types, the cuffs should be uh, suitable for the patient or uh, for the client. So it should be at least 40% in width and then 60% or 80% in length. So that would almost cover your entire forearm. So we will be now covering it with the inflatable, inflatable uh, bladder in line to your anticubital crease but 2 cm above now by the way in the positioning it should be 2, uh, two cm uh, it should uh, your forearm should also be uh, at heart level so this uh, position is very much perfect and then uh, i think you've been wondering uh, the parts of this uh, uh, sphygmomanometer manometer and then the telescope these are the only uh, tools i'll be using to measure your uh, blood pressure so here we call this the sphygmomanometer, and then the entirety of this uh, cloth is the cuff, while this part is the inflatable bladder. Attached to it is the tube, two tubes. One tube is uh, attached to its end, the manometer or the dial. The other tube is attached at its end with the bulb, and then uh, which is controlled by the uh, valve for the inflation and then the deflation. Now, to listen for the crop of sound during uh, measuring of your uh, blood pressure, I will be needing the stethoscope. The stethoscope with each part includes the uh, earpiece and then attached to a tube and then to a diaphragm and then the bell. The bell is the smaller and then the diaphragm is the larger. So now, I can wrap it up now. Please feel free to ask any questions and then if you feel any discomfort, please feel free to say it. Okay? Okay. So I will be wrapping it snugly. So it means not too tight, not too loose.
Okay, so just relax. And then, as we can see, 2 cm above or 2.5 cm above the antiquitical creases, the end of the cuff at its lowest point should be placed. Now, before I listen for the crotch of sun, I would just have to list, uh, measure the target point through your radial part, uh, pulse. So aside from your radial pulse, I will be also palpating your radial pulse. So the question, your question is why? Why should I be establishing first the target point? Now, the tar target point would mean the point where I will stop inflating the bulb of the sphygmo manometer. So, I will be palpating, along with it, I will be palpating your radial pulse for, for me to measure where the point of your pulse diminishes, where your radial pulse diminishes, and where it diminishes or disappears, I will be adding another 30, 30 millimeter mercury, and that would mean the sum total or the total of the target point where I will stop uh, inflating. So, I will start now measuring or estimating the target point. So, I will be inflating. So, as I feel it, at 130, at exact 130 mm mercury, the radial pulse diminishes, and so I will add another 30. So, that would mean 160. And then, deflate fast. So, 160 would be my target point. So, after gaining or obtaining the target point, I can now listen for your crack of sound. Now, in listening for the crack of sound, I will be using the bell of the stethoscope. Since it is the most sensitive part against the low pitched and then the low intensified uh, sounds of the volume. So, I will be inflating, I will be inflating and then listening. Now, the manner of inflating would reach me up to the target point, which is the 160 as I measured before. Now, as I reach 160 mm mercury, I will be deflating 2 to 3 mm mercury per second. And then the first two clicks would mean the systolic pressure, and then the diastolic pressure would mean the last click as it diminishes, as the sound diminishes. And to confirm, and then to give allowances, I will extend 10 to 20 millimeter mercury to confirm the last click or the diastolic. And then after that, since no, no more, no more clicks or sounds, I will deflate now faster, up to zero millimeter mercury. So your, as I see it and as I measure it, your blood pressure, measures as 120 over 80 mm mercury and that is normal now aside from the normal which is uh, less than 120 over uh, 80 mm mercury we also have the abnormal ones of course we have the prehypertensive and then the stage one and then stage two hypertension so before the pure or real hypertension we have a um, prehypertension that would range 120 to 139 systolic pressure millimeter mercury against the uh, diastolic uh, pressure of 80 to 89. Now after that or beyond that, above that is already hypertension divided into two, the stage one and then the stage two. For the stage one hypertension, uh, it ranges from 140 to 159 millimeter mercury as the systolic pressure over the diastolic pressure of 90 to uh, 99 millimeter mercury and above that which is uh, above 160 above or equal 160 millimeter mercury uh, as a systolic pressure over uh, 100 above what above or equal 100 millimeter mercury as a diastolic pressure would mean stage 2 hypertension so that would only mean uh, that you are normal in terms of your uh, left arm so in confirming I can also access uh, I can also measure to your other arm to get an average now the average of two two uh, would mean uh, the same but the highest the highest average uh, would uh, would mean your blood pressure your final blood pressure but if it is uh, more than five millimeter mercury 
then it would mean uh, repeating on both hands or either of the uh, both uh, both forearms or either of the forearms that would mean I would have to repeat it but for your case you are normal so thank you very much for participating do you have any questions again no all right so thank you very much and see you again